More than half of what Americans eat is so-called ultra-processed food, according to Harvard Medical School, and it may have an impact on our fertility. And new research is exploring the impacts of our diet. KXAN senior science reporter Eric Henriksen looks at the study and why some experts say you shouldn't stop eating these foods. It was something that was once taboo. Up to a third of cases, if not more, uh, of infertility are due to the male side of the equations. Dr. Rashmi Kadisa says many things can play a role, including diet. When we're relying on ultra-processed options, then it's harder to get in those vegetables, those fruits. In a new study, researchers from the University of Copenhagen put men on a diet of ultra-processed foods, discovering some side effects, including reduced sperm motility and decreased testosterone. It's such a broad category of food, and we really need to understand what the biological effects of that are. UT Austin PhD candidate Aaron Hudson studies the impact of ultra-processed food on our bodies. If you're the best chef in the world with any ingredients you want, could you make that food? If the answer is no, then it's probably an ultra-processed food. Typical examples include fast food and snacks. A lot of the concerns we have about ultra-processed foods might rely more on what the diet is then lacking in than just one thing that's being added. Elizabeth Klingbeil is a nutritionist and assistant professor at UT. She worries that fears of ultra-processed food could lead to people rejecting foods out of misunderstanding. If, you know, a couple extra ingredients on your frozen bag of vegetables from H-E-B is scaring you away from having that vegetable, that is not an improvement on public health for us. We're already not eating enough fruits and vegetables. Let's not demonize the ones that people can afford. The study in question was relatively limited in time and a number of people studied, but it could birth more research in the future. In Austin, Eric Henriksen, KXAN News. And beyond the impact to fertility, researchers also took blood samples and found chemicals used to make plastics in those who ate the ultra processed diet. Going in depth here, U.S. Health and Human Services Secretary Robert F. Kennedy Jr. joined Governor Greg Abbott in Austin recently to celebrate the passage of Make Texas Healthy Again legislation. Part of one of those bills, this is Senate Bill 25, requires food providers to label products that contain ingredients banned in other countries. Another bill, Senate Bill 314, prohibits schools using the National School Lunch Program from serving foods with certain additives. And then Senate Bill 379 does not allow people to buy sweetened drinks or candy with SNAP benefits.